PeteTools.com. G'day guys, here we going today. Pete and Pete's Tools here again. Hey, what I'm up to today is I'm going to put the water trap, the water separator, and the regulator, and all the other stuff on the back of this machine. And we'll plug the torch in, and we'll kick it in the guts and see if it actually fires up. Anyway, guys, that's what the old gets on about today. Remember, if you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And let's get into it, eh? So, guys, this is about the cheapest Pilot Arc plasma cutter I could find on Amazon. So, I'm in New Zealand here, so it's a bit of a drama to get it here. But anyway, I've got it here. And what we have to do before we can even plug the torch in and click it on and see if it actually works is assemble all this back area here. We've got our water trap and some other bits and pieces. So I'll show you how to do that, guys, in case you want to buy a plasma cutter of your own and you want to do it yourself. So for a cheap plasma cutter, I think it's all right. I mean, I haven't used the thing yet, but we'll put it together and we'll see exactly what it does. Uh, I've got a, a earth lead here. This will come with it for 200 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to have a look and buy one for yourself. Um, earth lead looks pretty crappy. <laughs> and then we've just got our hosing for the back here. We've got our operator's manual here. Is it in Chinese or what? It actually looks quite in-depth, guys. It actually looks like it's going to tell you some shit, which is all good. I've uh, got a 110 to 220 converter for you guys in the USA, which is all good, which I might have to modify for myself here. I've got a nice plasma torch, AG60P, guys, and the P stands for Pilot Arc, because like I said, it's the cheapest Pilot Arc machine I could find on Amazon. We have all the bits and pieces we need to do our airlines and all that stuff. We even get some thread steel tape. We get a fresher regulator and a water trap, not too bad. We get the bracket. A consumable fitting thing, which is about next to useless. And, and an air pressure gauge, guys. So, so far, so good. Right, so let's assemble this and we'll see how we get on, eh? Now, I just noticed, guys, on the installation manual here, it tells you how to, how to operate your air regulator and your water trap, but it doesn't exactly tell you how to install it, so. I'm sure we can figure it out, guys. <laughs> so if we start with the water separator, guys, um, it's got an arrow in here. I'm quite sure. See, there we are. See, there's an arrow here. If you look on here, guys, you'll see there's an arrow, and I think that's the airflow. So we want to go in one way and out the other. So if we just follow the arrow, we should be right. <laughs> so that arrow is there, guys, and that's going to go up here. So the air comes in this direction. Follow the arrow and out that direction. So we've got to go from here to there and put a snap-on connector here for the uh, air compressor. So first of all what I'll do guys, I'll take these bungs out here. Can you see there's got, they've got plastic bungs in here? Stop the ship from getting in. So I'll take them out and I'll put the right connectors in there. So our arrow is going that way, so we're going that way. So what we need to do is put the compressor end in here. So we've got our thread seal tape. A little pink as well, isn't that cute? <laughs> and we've got all our little bits and pieces here. We've got two electrodes and two cutting tips. So we'll put them back in the bag because we don't need them at the moment. Chuck them over there, Pete. Uh, what are we left with? We've got four hose clips. We've got an air fitting in from your compressor, compressor end. And we've got an ear fitting out. So even someone as stupid as me should be able to work that out. <laughs> and this is our in end. So what I do, guys, before I wind this tape on, I wonder which way the thread's going. So the thread's winding in that way. So what I want to do is run the tape the other way. So when I screw it in, it doesn't roll my tape off. So we're going in that way, so what we want to do, let's go the other way. Looks about enough to me. Hopefully it won't leak. Wind them in like so. Give it a bit of a tweak with the old crescent. Hopefully that won't leak. Yep, right direction, airflow in this way. So there we've got one on the other side, so we'll whip them off as well. You seem to get everything in the little kit, so 
So far, so good. I wonder if the thing will actually fire up. <laughs> that might be a different story, Pete. <laughs> right, that'll be enough of that. I'm just showing you this, guys, in case you don't know how to do it when you get your own machine. And we'll wind them in here. Now, this is the machine end. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, now we've got one more bung in here. So I presume that was for our little air pressure gauge. So if we take the one out of here, grab our little air pressure gauge, and we'll put some thread seal tape on that as well. I don't know if you watched my other video, guys, about me getting this from Amazon, but it's a bit of a drama, because I'm in New Zealand, of course, and it's a bit of a drama, and it's quite expensive. It's about twice, maybe even more than twice, what you guys pay in the US and the UK for us to get the machines here, because we've got to pay import duty and international shipping as well. It's the right pain in the old bum. But anyway, you got to do what you got to do, eh? So we'll get rid of that. You see there, guys, I've blocked the little hole in there, so what we'll do is get that hole cleared up so the pressure gauge actually works, otherwise we're going to get a false reading. So I'll screw the gauge in like that. It's all very complicated, isn't it? Not. <laughs> Don't go too tight with that, guys. I have had it before where I've friggin' gone too tight. That's about right. As long as you can see it, it's fine. I just do it about that tight. There's a big nut in here, but I wouldn't bother doing it because sometimes you just snap them off and you'll just rue the day. Right, now take off the top plastic bit like this. Grab your little bracket that come with it, and that'll just slide over there like so. Reassemble your little plastic bit on the top. Now we've got a couple of nuts already up here. They've left them on the machine for us, so that's quite handy. What I'm trying to do is, if I can get it imported from Amazon, all right, I'm going to uh, try and import at least one different machine a month. And I'll do some reviews on it and that sort of thing, but it cost a bloody fortune, that's the only thing, eh? Alright, so just finger tight them up like that, guys. Maybe this is what this thing's for. You reckon that's what this thing's for? You even get a little spanner thing with it, guys. How good's that? Here we go, nice and tight. Yeah! So now what we have to do guys is put a hose from here to here so that the air goes in the machine here, it comes through here, it goes through the water trap, it goes through your uh, pressure adjuster here that you can adjust your pressure and then it goes into the machine. So we'll just roughly measure, we'll stick it up there, and then we'll come up and go around here. I don't like too much hose hanging out because it hooks on everything, so the smaller the better as far as I'm concerned. But that's just me because I'm a clumsy shit so I reckon we'll cut it off about there. Well, before you put this on guys, make sure you put your hose clips on first, top and bottom. You get supplied the hose clips as well, which is a good thing, because I don't know about you, but I can never find hose clips in my garage, it's total shocking. I think the fairies take away all my hose clips and everything else, and you know. I've got these fairies in my garage, eh, that if I leave something on the floor, when I come back the next day, it's gone. Oh, I'm sure someone comes in here and takes my stuff, but anyway, that's the story I'm sticking to. So I'll just be a bit lazy here, guys, and I'll just do it up with a uh, with a cordless screwdriver thing here. Do the bottom one up. This thing here fits on there. Yep, look at that, eh? That little spanola thing that they gave it actually works. Just give them a tweak. Yep, beautiful. Make sure he's not sticking out there too much. And there we go. So basically, that's the uh, air setup, guys. Not a problem. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now these two here will be for the compressor end where it plugs in there, but I've already got my leads and that set up. So we're away. So that's what it looks like guys when you're finished. Piece of cake, just a little water trap there and a little air adjuster thing so you can get the pressure into your machine. But I don't normally worry about this. I normally have this just going flat out because I adjust the pressure on my compressor. But it just depends what sort of compressor you've got guys. So guys, we'll just turn them around, we'll plug it in, and we'll kick it in the guts, eh? <laughs> we'll uh, plug it in at 110 volt and see what happens.
All right, first thing we'll do, guys, is we'll get our air compressor lead and we'll plug them in here. Remember that fitting I put in there? Make sure it's secure. Now the torch has got basically three wires on it. What we'll do, guys, is plug the torch in it. We've got our pilot arc wire here. We've got our on-off switch here. And we've got our main lead coming in here. So if we take this cap off here, see it's got a bit of a dust cap on it here, guys. So if we take him off and screw the main lead into here. Put our pilot arc wire onto here. Like so. Always put the washer on top of it. And then we have our on off switch on here. So they're quite easy to set up guys, there's nothing to it really, even if you haven't done it before. And then we've got our earth lead here guys, which is pretty light, but anyway, we'll give it a crack and see what happens. Earth goes in here, up like so, and we should be all ready. <laughs> what do you reckon? Give it a crack guys, you'll see if it works. So before we kick it in the guts guys, just turn it around and make sure we haven't got any air leaks or anything stupid like that. Here we go, we've got no air leaks that I can hear, the compressor's on. Also what we need to do is make sure that we've got the right pressure in here. So what I do to start off with is just turn it up to the maximum, that's what I do anyway. Because I've got it um, controlled on my compressor. See that it's going up there now guys? So I would just give it as much as I could, like about 65 psi or something like that. There we go. No leaks. Otherwise you'll hear it going out the back. Turn around again, guys. Kick it in the guts, Pete. See if it goes. <laughs> well, something lighting up. What have we got? 17, 14, 15. Sounds a bit spitty, but I'm sure we can figure that out. So guys, will it cut? Give it a crack. Looks all right to me, guys. Ah, Grandma. What do you reckon? 199 bucks. Well, Pete's impressed so far anyway. Mind you, it's only day one. I'm going to run it through its paces and see what happens. <laughs> so guys, that's enough bullshit from me for the day. Uh, it's been a really long video, this one. Well, it seems like a long video. I've been having fun while I've been making it. It's awesome. Really enjoyed myself making this one. Anyway, guys, I'll put a link to Amazon down the bottom there if you want to have a look at one of these for yourself. Like I say, I'm going to do a whole lot of checks and balances with it. I'm going to put it through its paces. If it can survive living with me for a month, it's got to be good. <laughs> Anyway guys, same crap as usual, like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want. And if you're looking for a way to bend steel with a plasma cutter, check out this video up here guys. I've got an incredible tip for you, have a look at that one, and you can bend steel without a gas torch. Bye! Pete's Tools .com. Pete's Tools